So far in the series, Gear 5 is the strongest transformation that Luffy has shown. Based on what we've seen from Luffy's Gear 5, it seems like he's nearly invincible in this form. However, there are several power-up that we will soon witness in the series, and they might be able to rival Gear 5. This power-ups that I'll be talking what I believe can rival Gear 5 Luffy. You can share your opinion in the comment box. First, we have Kaido's Keen Deco form. Keen Deco is the final transformation that Kaido attains when he takes a sip of sake during his battle with Luffy, and it's not confirmed that it's his awakening form. In this form, Kaido breathes a large amount of flames from his mouth which form a giant fire dragon over his original dragon form. This fire melts anything that it touches. He used this form against Luffy's strongest attack badgering gun and but in this form, Kaido couldn't defeat Luffy. But we should remember that while fighting with Luffy, Kaido was holding up a whole island by himself, which made him weakened. Even so, Kaido could definitely match up against Gear 5 with this transformation. It was powerful enough to burn Luffy, and even though Kaido eventually lost, Luffy was also knocked out shortly after defeating him. How can we forget Blackbeard Devil Fruit Awakening? Blackbeard is currently one of the most powerful pirates in the world of One Piece. As we know he possessed two of the strongest devil fruit of the series. First one is Gura Gura no Mai fruit which allows him to produce powerful vibrations and shockwaves and these shockwaves can shake and destroy everything around them, even causing earthquakes and tsunamis, and among other things. It is believed to be a power great enough to destroy the entire world. If Blackbeard manages to awaken this devil fruit, this power-up would be strong enough to rival Luffy's Gear 5 powers. Even without its awakening, this devil fruit is strong enough to rival nearly all characters in the One Piece world. Awakening would just make him even stronger and more overpowered. Blackbeard also has another strong devil fruit up his sleeve is the Yami Yami no Mai. It is a most mysterious and sinister devil fruit of the series. This devil fruit does not function like normal loges, it allows user to create and control darkness at will, allowing them to engulf objects, attacks, and even people in darkness. This ability can be used offensively to trap. This devil fruit can also nullify all devil fruit powers on contact. Awakening this fruit would make Blackbeard extremely overpowered as it would potentially then be able to nullify devil fruit powers without contact. We know for a fact that Blackbeard is one of the endgame enemies for Luffy and he is sure to have his Devil Fruits awakened by that time. So, Luffy has to figure out something to counter Blackbeard. Next we have Sakazuki's power-up. Sakazuki is the current fleet admiral of the Marines and is certainly among the strongest characters in the entire series. Even Oda Sensei said that if Akainu was the main protagonist, I could put an end to One Piece within a year. He possesses a powerful Devil Fruit that allows him to turn into Magma Man. His Devil Fruit is extremely dangerous, given that it is believed to hold the offensive power of the highest order. Remember, when Akainu and Kuzan fought, their fight caused massive environmental changes on Punk Hazard, with parts of the island being frozen and others being melted. If Akainu manages to awaken this Devil Fruit, we can assume he has already awakened his Devil Fruit, the power resulting from it would certainly be great enough to rival Luffy's Gear 5. We have to keep in mind that he's one of the incredibly powerful enemy that Luffy will most likely come face to face with at some point in the story. Akainu is not going to be someone Luffy could defeat so easily. And finally, we have Amu's Devil Fruit Power Up. As we know Amu-sama is the currently sighting on Empty Throne, and he is the one rules over the entire world from the shadows. It is theory that he is immortal and he is alive for over 800 years from Boyd Century. In Chapter 1085 it's revealed that he possesses tremendous power in his disposal. We found out that all the five elder in Amu they possess an incredibly overpowered devil fruit, and their ability appears to be a zone type, which means that they likely have transformations up their sleeve. And those won't be normal zone type devil fruits, they might be mythical zone type ones. We shouldn't forget that Amu-sama is going to be antagonists of Final Arc and he will be the most powerful enemy Luffy has ever faced. Luffy will potentially find it difficult to defeat Amu, given that they are one of the mightiest forces of power in the One Piece world. 